tonight on the driving test. Where are you going? I don't know. <laughs> it's chaos Ooh. and catastrophe. Whoa, sorry. <laughs> As our learners put themselves under pressure and extreme conditions. Baby, 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 oh. Scott does not have a good singing voice. To make their driving dream a reality. Amber means stop unless it's unsafe to do so. Gotcha. Darwin is full of great mystery and surprises. Watch this, Stephen. And Andrew of Andrew's Driving School finds a lot of that happens right here in his car. Watch that car. <laughs> I'm so sorry. For Andrew, there's nothing like unleashing a learner driver onto an unsuspecting public. Brakes, coffee brakes, coffee brakes. As I tell my students, out there everyone thinks you can drive, sort of. What happens in the car, obviously, this, I'm the only one who knows what's going on. So public is safe. I'll take control. One person who's putting all his faith in Andrew is self-confessed geek, 38-year-old Canadian, Thomas. He's finally taking the plunge to get a license. Yeah, I think I've been a geek since I was a kid, so I've been watching Doctor Who since I was four. I'm a bit of an eccentric, basically. Thomas, my name's Andrew. Hi, Andrew, nice to meet you. you drive instructor. All right, cool. By day, Thomas is a photographer at the local crocodile park. But by night, he likes to snap away at the weather. I am getting my license so I can be chasing some storms here in Darwin. <laughs> So, photographer, that's your job, yep? Uh, photographer, yeah, for wildlife and lightning, so... Lightning. Bit of storm chasing out here. Well, that's what I want to get the license for, do some storm chasing proper next wet season. I've always learned an automatic in the past, but at this point I'm going to attempt to learn manual, see how we go with that. Whoa, sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Um, you had driving lessons before, like? Uh, I did when, uh, back in Canada, I did oh, so when I was about 16, yeah. so, uh... I know that. Whoops, oi. Whoa, that's the first gear. Looks like Thomas is creating his own perfect storm. Good clutch in, clutch, clutch, clutch. Oops. A few brakes, a few brakes. Ah, oh, here we go. Every time I've tried uh, manual, there's always been a few stalls and things like that. Gently off your brakes, gently off your brakes. Oops. Oh, uh, I just panicked myself that's there. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Did I stall right out on the get-go there? Did I? Yes. <laughs> Clutch out slowly, real slow, apply some power. Clutch out slowly, yeah, Ooh. apply some power, power. Whoops, whoops, oh, whoops, shoot, that went to one. When I get a bit frazzled, I just start, I start hitting buttons. Whoops, oh, we have it on the other side here. Whoops, whoops. Oh. Yeah, now I'm getting myself all frazzled. He knows what to do, just panic kicks in. Hopefully we can figure something out and keep him in line. Bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> Dreaming of getting her peas is 18-year-old California girl, Cheyenne. I was born and raised in California, in America. We've been here for about five years now. It's Cheyenne's first professional lesson, and she's full of confidence in her skills behind the wheel. I'm best at turning the corners. Steering is my thing. And she hopes to prove it. Hello. Hello. Cheyenne, is it? Yes, it I'm is. Andrew. I'm Cheyenne. Nice meeting you. you. Cheyenne has just two months left on her learner's licence to pass her test. OK, let's go for a drive. We are going to exit the car park out there for me, please. So it's up to Andrew to find out if her goal is achievable or if she's California dreaming. And turning left. Whoa. <laughs> Wait, I'm back in the street. I'll get it. <laughs> OK. And we're going, to, we're going to turn left. In just a few seconds, Andrew discovers her steering isn't all it's cracked up to be. Be very careful, because you're going to go up the curb here. <laughs> Cheyenne and her turning skills. A bit more braking, a bit more braking. Watch those hands, watch those hands. They want to stop, they want to stop. The last place you want to stop. <laughs> she just stops halfway through her turn. What did you stop there for? I don't know. <laughs> the reason why Cheyenne's turns are, at this stage, horrendous, is because she's coming in too fast. Break before the corner. Break, 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 break. It's too bad. A little bit nervous when I was going around corners. Break. I used the break. No, you do. <laughs> it was terrible, honestly. Yep, right here. A lesser instructor wouldn't try a reverse parallel park with Cheyenne in her first lesson. 
But Andrew loves a challenge. All right, I won't help you. All yours. First check. I decided that it's time to push her forward and start getting some manoeuvres out the way. OK, indicating as well. She's on a deadline. Her licence is going to expire shortly. Where are you going? So not now. <laughs> <laughs> so pressure is on. See how we go. And now what are we looking for? OK. Good. Make sure you don't hit it. Oh, yep, yeah, no. <laughs> when I hit the curve, it just feels like a big bump and the whole car just kind of moves. <laughs> OK. OK. Back to the front. Another attempt at reverse parallel parking. I've got to pull back out next to the parked car. Still fast. Good. What do we want to do now? She's reversing and straight away decides she's going to start steering. What do you think? Is the car going straight like that or is it still turned? Has no idea where the car's going. This is not going to happen, this one, because you're going to... Um... Get <laughs> so, down to steering again. You had no idea what was going on. No. <laughs> <I'll say>. <laughs> <laughs> going for her peas is 16-year-old Justin Bieber fan, Shelley. Combining school with training in dentistry, she's hoping to get her teeth into the test with examiner Scott. Afternoon. Hi. You must be Shelley. Yep. I'm Scott. Pleased Thanks to meet Scott. you. I'll be your driving tester for today. I did okay in the lesson, so I should be all right in the tests. I hope. Doing right. Shelley aced her manoeuvres with Errol, but had a problem following instructions. Okay. What? <laughs> the instruction was that that roundabout were turning right. Oh, I forgot. That's all right. Told me to like. No, no. We've missed it now. Oh, okay. So she's going to need to pay attention to pass today's test. Test start time is 1.30 p.m. Test sheet we're doing is 1.5.3. All right, well, when safe to do so, we're going to reverse back to our left and we'll head out the exit over there. It's about time I get my licence. I'm the last one pretty much out of my friends. Yeah, I just need it. <laughs> okay, then we'll turn first left. Shelly has 45 minutes to prove she's ready for the road and she's off to a steady start. First impression, seemed like a fairly confident driver. All right, up ahead we have a white car on the left-hand side of the road there, which we can use to do our reverse parallel park. I felt she was reasonably quick coming in. But boom, just pulled her straight out of the bag. Straight in two moves, no mucking around there. Been practising, have you? No. <laughs> so, yeah, a little bit slow would have felt more control, but she got in, she didn't hit the kerb, she didn't hit the car, so happy days. With Shelley well on the way to a pass, there's time for a bit of Bieber banter. So you're a believer. Yes, I've been to three Justin Bieber concerts. Oh, wow. No. Okay. He's got some catchy songs, I must admit. Definitely, definitely. Baby, 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 oh! Oh, when he started singing, I was just kind of like, Scott does not have a good singing voice. Yeah, I'll actually play like a bit of guitar on that myself, but the worst thing is I can't sing at all. Yeah. You know? He was even telling me about how he plays the guitar, but he can't sing with it, and I wasn't surprised. <laughs> all righty, then at the roundabout, we'll turn right, so right at the roundabout. But has all this talk about her idol given Shelley Bieber fever? We'll go right round if you can. Oh. Keep going straight, keep going straight. She forgot to actually turn right. I did that in the lesson just before as well. We'll do a complete U-turn at this roundabout here, <laughs> so we'll go all the way around and back to the roundabout. I couldn't believe I went straight when I was asked to go right because I did that in my lesson as well. Oh, my God. I can't believe I did that again. don't want to finish the test. With less than five minutes to go, Shelley needs to get back on the test route. There's no room for errors now. But then going around, I felt she was going a little bit quick and the roundabout was getting closer. And as we kept going around, I was just praying that she didn't get too close to the curb. Next thing we know, the back wheel's on top of the roundabout.
16-year-old Shelley has only minutes left on her test. And she's just made a mistake that could be fatal. Now the back wheel's on top of the roundabout. And that was the roundabout. And there's like the last roundabout on the test. So, bad luck there, bad luck there. With her test now over, Shelley has an anxious wait to find out if she's passed or failed. OK, we'll make the car safe and let's go through and we'll tell you the score up, so give yourself a breather. I was really excited cos I knew I hadn't really stuffed up. And then cos I hit the kerb, I was feeling really angry at myself. And you think you drove today? Pretty good, except just then <laughs> I hit the roundabout. <laughs> Overall, your driving wasn't too bad at all, except we do have an F3. Do you know what an F3 is? No. Failed item four. Yeah. You collided with the roundabout when we're going oh. around at the very end of the test. So unfortunately, it was not a success today. Yeah. My heart sank and I just, <laughs> yeah. Apart from that, you would have got 94%. Yeah, she did drive really well, but um, it just did come down the roundabout. So hopefully next time she comes back and she aces it. <laughs> no, because... Really? You didn't pass? No way in the world. No, because it was right there. On the roundabout and I hit the curb. Failing today has made me just want to go for my test again. Well, it's not the end of the world. Yeah, next time, right. I'll do it again. Yeah. And stopping right there. That's it. Put the clutch in. Clutch, clutch, clutch. Yes. You stalled. Then I did, yeah. You did. Yep. <laughs> Bollocks. At Andrew's driving school, Storm Chaser Thomas has been driving like a tornado. Whoa, sorry. Clutch in, foot on brake. Ah, that's it. So in his lesson today, Andrew's putting the wind up him. He said he knew what to do. So I just let him be and let him do a hill start for me. I'm going to go into my first. Yep. yep. I'm going to start bringing it out. And I'm going to drive. Woo! And we're not going to go anywhere. Oh, because I'm a handbrake still. Hey, how are we doing? And... OK, we're not going to go anywhere. No, we're not going to get anywhere like that. Getting gear. That's right, I should. <laughs> So double Let's check, we actually got everything. We I got yeah. in there, I'm in there. Woohoo! Hey, it was a little bumpy, but we got there. We got there. All right. Here we go. At the end of the road, turning yeah. right. Gotcha. Before you do anything, all with a quick merge. Yep, gotcha. It seems for Thomas. Here we go. Gotcha <laughs> is the answer for everything. Gotcha. <laughs> We're going to do a lane change to the left. Yep. Gotcha. Straight ahead. Gotcha. And there's a roundabout coming up. We're going to turn left. Gotcha. Straight ahead. Gotcha. 60 gates. Gotcha. Gotcha, your catchphrase. Yeah. Uh, we just had that conversation about stop line. Gotcha. <laughs> and second gear. All right. Thomas is improving slightly. But I just can't see him getting a manual license anytime soon. Gotcha. After six weeks of intense lessons and practice, it's time for Cheyenne to take her test before her L's expire in a few days. Ah, good morning. How good are morning. you? I'm good. How are you? Oh, I woke up breathing. <laughs> That's good. I haven't told him about my test because I feel like if I fail, then I want to tell him that I didn't pass. <laughs> this would be easier that way. Well, in her lessons with Andrew, Cheyenne was a driving disaster. Careful, because you're going to go up the curb here. Oh, yep, no. All right, your driving test number today is 19106. So when you're ready, yeah. we'll go that way, please. In this test with examiner marked, she's confident nothing will go wrong. Up to the end of the road, and we will turn right. With the 45-minute clock ticking, Mark begins with one of the hardest manoeuvres on the test route, the reverse park. OK, 
Okay, see that silver car there? I'd like you to stop right next to it and then reverse back and park behind it, please. I am most anxious about my Everest parallel parking. I have four movements to go from here to there. Definitely going to take my time. I'm not going to rush. I was going back, and I felt like I was going to hit the curve. So I stopped, and then I just took my time. If you've finished, we'll move off again, please. That parallel park honestly made me feel so much better because I know I can do it now. After a close call with the curve, it looks like Cheyenne's on Easy Street. At some point along this road, we will be turning right. But on a Darwin driving test, you never know what's coming at you next. Get the first set of traffic lights where they went amber. Please stop, please stop, because we can. She should have stopped. California teenager Cheyenne is heading towards the end of her test and a red light. Turns to amber. Amber means stop unless it's unsafe to do so. We go through, lights turn to red. <laughs> She should have stopped. Make it safe. Just got to do a little bit of working out. All right, Miss Cheyenne. <clears throat> um, there's a lot to like about what you did. Yeah. We popped over the speed limit down by the Kazarina Shopping Centre there by about 1k an hour and then came back under. Now, when we came up to the traffic lights, it went amber. Yeah. Before we got to the other side of the traffic lights, they went red. Yeah. It was easy to stop where we had. Um, and the rule of thumb for us, if you can't get to the other side, then you had plenty of room to stop. Yeah. So, You've not been successful today. I was disappointed. Without that, you would have easily passed. Okay? I know that's no solace. Yeah. Thank you. That's yours. Thank you. All right. Like I said, don't beat yourself up. You're not the first, and you won't be the last Thanks. person that doesn't pass on the first time. Okay? I know if I just keep trying, I'll pass it. I'll pass it the second time, because I know what to do now. Is that, like, hard? I know how easy the test actually is. So I think the next time, I'll actually will pass. I'll be like more calm and less nervous. It's test day for 38-year-old Thomas, who is desperate for his license so he can begin a new life as a storm chaser. Uh, Mr. Thomas, how hey, are you? Mark, good, how are you doing? Good. Good, good. In his lesson with Andrew, Thomas found the manual a little too hard to handle. Clutch in, clutch, clutch, clutch. Oops. So today, he's doing his test in an auto with examiner Mark. All right, your driving test number today is 18375. Have you got any burning questions? Yeah. You're probably better off asking me now. Just how long does the test last for? About 40, 45 minutes. Gotcha. Yep, for the next 45 minutes, Mark has got Thomas's gotcha catchphrase to look forward to. Right, up to the end and yep. turn right. Please. Gotcha. You're going to take the next left. Left, gotcha. At the end of the road, we'll turn right. Gotcha. Thomas's drive is really going quite well. In the next set of lights after that, we'll turn left. Gotcha. That catchphrase of his is really starting to grate on me. Three point turn, please. He's even got you himself through his own manoeuvres. See this ute here, working well, then to reverse back and park behind it. Gotcha. The word gotcha is obviously working for him. You finished, we'll move off. Okay. The manoeuvres are spot on. 
But as any storm chaser will tell you, in Darwin, things can change in the blink of an eye. Whoops. <laughs> and sometimes the simplest little problem can bring you undone. Oh. Up, down. Nope. He's accidentally put the windscreen wipers on instead of the indicator. And he can't turn it off. This is going to be an issue if he keeps going. Huh. Which one have I got this side? He's got to get these windscreen wipers off, because if I have to tell him it's intervention, he then fails. Wannabe storm chaser Thomas is on his test with examiner Mark. Oops, sorry. After a near flawless start, a tiny error has the potential to wipe him out. Huh. Which one have I got this side? He's got to get these windscreen wipers off, because if I have to tell him it's intervention, he then fails. Come on, Thomas, turn it off. Come on. Get off now, yes. Thankfully, he's done it but it's an error that can cost them their whole driving test. Clearly rattled, the mistakes are adding up. He's getting really heavy with that accelerator pedal. You're at not quite 80, right? That's 60 at the moment, yes. And he's getting too overcautious with his roundabouts. We're nearly stopping at every one of them. It was a really disappointing end to what had been a really good test. Will Thomas's shaky finish cost him his storm chasing dream? Right. Mm -hmm. Make the car safe. Yep. Okay. I'll do some mathematics. Okay. Nail time. See how we did. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Thirty-five. Thirty-five. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. After the test, I thought, oh shoot, the windshield wipers. He's gonna fail me over that. All right. If we do maneuvers first. Yeah. Your reverse parallel. No drama okay. at all. Okay, wonderful. Three-point turn, yep. again, was pretty good. Yep. No real dramas there. Yep. Woo! Good. OK, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but don't get yeah. too excited. But don't get too excited, yeah. You seem to have a few issues on the roundabout. Whoops. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and then you've got a little bit of a lead foot sometimes. OK. So how did we do? Um, now you can get excited. OK. Thank you. All right. Woohoo! I passed. I got my P plate. Well done, young man. Thank you very Drive much. Drive safely. All right. Thank you. Let's see. I've got enough for you to get out of my car. All right. <laughs> uh, gonna chase some storms. So excited about that. So just in time for the wet season. So cool. Shelly took her second test and failed again. Unbelievable. Cheyenne got her licence on her second go and is leaving Darwin to study journalism in Melbourne. While chasing storms, Thomas found a pot of gold at the end of a rainbow. Nah, not really. Gotcha. 